Hello everyone, this is JD from Benchmark, and today I'm going to give you a quick overview on how to post-process static data start to finish in GeoSolution. So I'm going to start on my desktop and I'm going to open GeoSolution. Here you'll see the main window. GeoSolution is pretty nice to deal with because it has five clearly outlined steps. The project manager, data import, baseline process, adjustment process, and then the result. So step one, we go to the project manager and create a new project. Give the project a name and select the file path to save it. Next, click coordinate system and then click coordinate system manager. If you know what coordinate system you are working with, this will ensure that you have all the correct settings. I was working with UTM zone 11, so I'll click it and then click select. I'm going to check that all of my settings are correct and then I'll click OK. This is just a precaution. I shouldn't have to change anything if I selected the proper coordinate system, but it's always good to double check. I've finished with my project notes, so I'll click OK again. So step one done. Step two, importing data. So click data import and to start, click observation data. You'll now have to navigate to wherever your data is saved on your computer. For myself, I kept it in a folder called My Static Data. Simply select all of your points and then click Open. You may have to wait a bit, but soon your files will show up. Make sure that you have the measured height of the unit here. Double check these values since even a small error will propagate further down the line. While you're here, double check that you have a static data type. If this says dynamic instead, something went wrong during data collection. Then click OK. Now we have to tell the software which point we used as a reference. For me, it was station two. Simply right click it and then move down to select use as reference. That opens a settings box where you can set the reference to a known point and elevation. Click the boxes to set the horizontal and vertical positions and then you can edit the values to match your known point. Click OK, and that's step two done. Step three, the baseline process. Open it up and click static settings. Here you can adjust anything GNSS related that you want. The default settings are pretty good, but a lot of guys prefer a 10 degree cutoff angle for their satellites, but that's up to you. Once you're ready, click OK, and then click baseline process. You may have to wait a while as your computer solves each position. I'll speed this up to save time, but it took about a minute in real time. When it finishes, you'll see that I'll have two baselines created using three points. Now take a look at the window tabs down here. The time map and the plane map will confirm that you've plotted all the points correctly. The other tabs will show more information if you have more than two baselines. If you have any issues with the baseline's RMS error, simply select it, right click it, and select residual view. Here you can see all the communication data. If you have any frequent or large gaps, simply click and drag to disable the bad signal. Click solve and it will resolve it. As you can see, I have RMS errors of 0.3 and 0.1 mils in this data, which is pretty decent. So step three done. Step four, the adjustment process. First, click adjustment settings. It's highly recommended that you use the default settings unless you have a really good handle on what these can do. Once you're happy with them, click OK and then click adjustment processing. Unfortunately, I don't have enough baselines to get an adjustment report, but it should look just like this. And that's step four done. Step five, results. All you have to do is click static result file. Here, just select a folder and select the file type to save it. I'll just use the DXF and DAT file types but it might be useful to click Select All. Once you're ready, click Export. To take a look at the data, there's a pretty good trick. I'll go to where I exported just now, and if you change the file type from .dat to .csv, you'll be able to open and modify the points 
in Excel. And that's about it. Please consider liking and subscribing, it really helps us out. And if you have any questions about this video or about any others on our YouTube channel, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit our website at bench-mark.ca.